the number one reason women lead you on. What's up, brothers? Hope everyone's doing well out there. In today's video, we're going to talk about the number one reason why women lead you on. You know, a lot of guys reach out to me for dating advice and, you know, they're wondering what's going on in their situation. Why is she playing hot and cool, pulling back, all this and that, right? It's the number one topic. Like, it's always being asked. Now, first of all, let's just answer this question. Do women lead guys on? Yes, women lead guys on like crazy. And it's more prevalent than ever in the social media era, right? You got the dating apps, you got Instagram. It's very easy for women to lead men on. Okay, now, before you go searching, what should I do? What should I do when a woman leads me on? What should I do when a woman pulls back? You have to understand why they lead you on because that's what really matters. And when you understand the why, you can make your own decisions. You don't have to search for what to do. You'll know exactly what to do. And at the end of this video, I'll tell you what to do. But before we get this one started, there's a prerequisite. Okay. When you get out of bed in the morning, shoulders back, chest out, chin up, walk with a manly strut, don't be a pussy, okay? Men are overwhelmingly becoming beta males. They're being taught to be beta males. They're being indoctrinated to be beta males. Gillette wants you to be a beta male. Walt Disney wants you to uh, not even like girls anymore. You know, whatever. They're, they're into some weird shit out there, all right? It's okay to be a man. <laughs> Stop thinking that you have to soften up for the world. Don't do it. Now, anyways... On with the video. Why do women lead men on? Well, let me start by saying this. Have you ever found yourself in a relationship that never quite started, but at the same time, it never quite ended? Well, if you have, then you've been led on. That's what's going on there. So you have to understand one thing. And anybody that tells you different has no idea what they're talking about. There are levels, okay? There are levels in the dating game, all right? Some guys are way up here. Some guys are way down here, right? We can talk about looks. We can talk about money. We can talk about status. We can talk about game, whatever you want to talk about. But regardless of what the situation is, some guys are up here. Some guys are down here. I hate to break it to you, but it's just the way it is. So look at yourself in the mirror objectively and figure out where you stand and fucking improve yourself if you need to. Okay, so with that being said, if you're being led on by a girl, think of it like this. Have you ever seen a dog walking around the street and you got a bag of chips, you decide to feed it a chip? Now this dog is, it belongs to you, you could say, right? If you tell it to sit, it'll sit. If you tell it to stand, it'll stand. It'll follow you around everywhere you go. Because you gave it a little breadcrumb. You gave it a chip. Now it views you as a caretaker, as somebody it can count on. So it follows you around and it loves you unconditionally. Well, I hate to break it to you, but modern women, if they're halfway good looking and you know they're mentally halfway stable, that's the power they have over men. If they show a man a little bit of affection, you know, give him just a little bit of physical satisfaction, whatever it may be, a lot of times they can get that man wrapped around their finger. Okay, and if you've been in a situation where you've been let on, that's probably the situation that you're in. Now, the reason why I was talking about levels to this shit is because she didn't pick up this skill. She didn't pick up this trait on her own. She didn't just get creative and come up with this. No. This is where men that are up here are putting her. Right? They are leading her on. They're future faking her. Making her believe that, um, you know, they'll want something a little more than just sex. But after they get the pussy, they're out. Making them think they want a long-term relationship and, uh, you know, taking her out a few times and then dumping her. Right, but maybe never giving her closure and kind of leaving her lingering, hanging around. So, you know, she's always there chasing him. 
Now, when a woman experiences this quite frequently, she will pick up this habit, right? She'll learn how to do this on her own. So she'll get with guys who are down here or even down here, and she will give them a little bit, right? Give them some breadcrumbs. And just like the puppy dog, now you're there to do whatever she wants, right? Without question, you'll always be there. You'll always be there to help her move. You'll always be there to mount her TV to the wall when she moves into a new apartment. You know, you'll always be that guy. And she knows she has you. Now, the worst part about this is her self-esteem takes a hit when these other guys lead her on. But when she gives you a little bit of attention and you begin to chase her, now her self-esteem goes back up. So you're caught in a situation where you are, you're giving her emotional fulfillment, right? You're building up her self-esteem. In your head, you know, when she gives you a little bit of attention or she leads you to believe that there's something serious going on here, this puts you in a situation where you're constantly chasing her. You're constantly validating her but she's never reciprocating it back to you. This is going to put you in this perpetual state of just cognitive dissonance, disillusionment, low self-esteem, you name it. You are going to be a psychological, walking, talking disaster. You're satisfying her needs in a way that she wants these other guys to satisfy her needs, but she's not actually reciprocating anything back to you. All right, that's what's happening when you're being led on. Now, I'm going to make this quick and get straight to the point. What do you do in this situation? Well, number one, you have to stop being her, um, you know, being her puppy. You have to quit doing that. That's why I said shoulders back, chest out, chin up, walk with a manly strut. <laughs> I'm not kidding when I say that. In this game, you're either a fucking stud or you're a fucking dork. You got to pick which one you are. Now, anyways, when you're that guy that's always there for her, you're always ready to satisfy her emotional needs, make her feel better when some other guy treats her like shit. She's, she views you as a guy that's way down here. And you have to switch that up. You have to switch that dynamic. So what do you do? You cut her off. You dump her. Okay. Now, even though she views you as a low-level guy, now she feels like she's getting dumped by low-level guys. And I know as a man, when you care about a woman, you don't want to mistreat her, right? If you're a good guy, you don't want to mistreat her. So you think, if I do this, it's going to really make her feel bad about herself. So I don't want to do it. Stop being a beta male and do it. Trust me. Okay. So when you do it, and now she feels like even low-level guys are leading her on and dumping her. Well, that's going to knock her back down to the level that you want her to be at. Okay. Now she can view you as more of a serious candidate. But the problem is, even if she starts chasing you, you know, she still has her eyes on some other guys and you should never forget the fact that she led you on. And realistically, you should just move on. You know, I can, I can tell you what to do to give you the best chance of making her actually want you. But at the same time, you always got to remember she didn't want you. Why would you waste your time on her? You know, you got to have some respect for yourself. You got to view yourself as a catch, you know. Sometimes you got to talk things into existence. So let's sum this one up. Now, women lead you on because they're not getting what they want from the men they really want. And you're there to satisfy their emotional needs when the other guy is mistreating her. So what do you do? You dump her. You cut her off. Dumping women is fundamental in this situation. And this lets her know that even you have the balls to dump her. Okay. 
This changes the way she thinks of you. This changes the level of respect that she has for you. Does this mean she is going to want you? No. But it means you get to maintain your respect and it gives you the best chance that you would ever have of actually making her want you. Hope this video was somewhat informative. And remember, shoulders back, chest out, chin up, walk with a manly strut, don't be a pussy. Hope this video was somewhat informative, and that's about it for today, guys. Until next time, see ya.